in ISIS territory, their government joining others and frantically trying to stop their youth from joining the ranks of ISIS. Alex Marquard, ABC News. Back here in the States to the arrest of an infamous murder suspect in a cold case, Robert Durst, a real estate heir and recently the subject of a documentary series, tonight under arrest for a murder that happened 15 years ago, he about to make a big escape. ABC's Clayton Sandell has a story. FBI agents busted Robert Durst in a New Orleans hotel Saturday. A source tells ABC he checked in using a fake name and may have been trying to flee to Cuba. Heir to a billion dollar New York real estate fortune, Durst is now facing a murder charge in California. His attorney says it's related to one of three possible murders chronicled in the HBO series, The Jinx. There's a lot of people out there who think that I killed my wife, that I killed Susan Berman, that I intentionally murdered Morris Black. Durst's first wife, Kathleen, vanished in 1982. He was investigated, but never charged. Then in 2000, police were about to question Durst's friend, Susan Berman, about what she knew. But before she was able to talk to investigators, Berman was found shot to death at her home here in Beverly Hills. Police said it looked like an execution. Durst told filmmaker Andrew Jarecki he didn't do it. I had nothing to do with Susan Berman's death. Durst then moved to Texas, where he admitted killing and dismembering his neighbor, but claimed self-defense. The jury agreed. Not guilty. You know I mean? After Jarecki made this movie, loosely based on Durst, he agreed to be interviewed. And his lawyer said, I think this is a terrible idea. Yeah. You've, been, you've been wrongly accused of three murders over 30 years. You're a free man. But the jinx may be Durst's undoing. Now we have something that the LAPD is going to really come on. Especially after the series linked two handwriting samples. One on a mysterious note someone sent to Beverly Hills cops after Susan Berman was killed. Another on a newly discovered letter Durst is said to have once mailed to Berman. The address written on the front is exactly like the cadaver note down to the misspelling of Beverly. Durst's attorney said today his client will not fight extradition to California, but will fight the charges. His brother Douglas says the family is relieved. We hope he will finally be held accountable for all he has done. The final episode of The Jinx airs tonight. Robert Durst investigators believe already knows the ending. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Los Angeles. And still ahead tonight, on the run for years, an American fugitive thought she had escaped a prison sentence. Find out where she was finally tracked down. And another escape to tell you about what went down at this air show. Those stories coming up. ABC World News Tonight, brought to you by Progressive. Progressive Insurance here, and I'm a fox who thrives on the unexpected. Ha <laughs> ha!